Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got an unbagging and this is from a new to me company, Cool Deals. And Jack at Cool Deals got in touch with me and asked if I would like to review some of their products. And I said, yeah, fine. Yeah, that's great. And company I've not tried. So let's get into this and have a look and see what we've got. It's quite a long, thin package. So we'll see what's in here. It's very well wrapped. Goodness me, there's a lot of bubble wrap there. All right, okay. Oh wow, so it's in a bag and then it has all had a bubble wrap put on it. Wow, that's a good packaging. Okay, looks good so far, but how do I get into it? <laughs> so, wow, that's a bright orange tape as well. Let me stick it up. Goodness me. Okay, what shall we do? Where shall we put it? Is it like a bag? Or is it all wound round, do we think? Well, we might be able to get it out now. So, what is that? Oh, squeak. Nails down the blackboard. One canvas. And a second canvas. And... A third canvas and a fourth canvas, goodness me. And oh, just a little bit of packing. Okay, so let's get into these and see what we've got. Well, I've tried to order a mixture of things so we can get a look at what the company does. So, what shall we do? We'll start with this one first. And leave the biggest till last. Well, okay, so oh, look! <laughs> so we've got cool deals on it, we've got Liz 3, so this must be the third one. And it says 30 by 40. I like the way that we've got our name on it, which is uh, quite sweet. I think you can just see the thumbnail there. Sorry for the glare, it's very dull again in the UK. I can't believe it. It's April, for goodness sake. It's not supposed to be dull. We're supposed to be getting into spring and having lovely weather. Uh, oh, that's like a stickery type thing. That'll be good to go in my uh, log book. I like stickers. Okay. Oh, and I've got my name on here as well. Look. Oh, so I know it's mine. It's got my name on. I like that. That's uh, quite a, a nice idea. Yeah, I like that, having my name on it. Okay, ooh, and this is a special drill. So, let's have a look. Let's just give this a bit of a flat mount. It's got a little bit curly. It has come along lovely. Looks a nice clear drill feel. And we're a 30 by 40. So, special drill. It's a full drill. So, I'm thinking that this one could possibly be full drill crystal oh look at those wow okay this will be different to try like this one and as you can see we've got like these like fluffy flowers i'm not quite sure whether these are dandelions or not i know you can get some type um thistles and flowers that sort of like are quite round on the top and they're a little bit like a dandelion clock but they're actually uh, a little bit, uh, just give it a bit of a bend, help it to go backwards. Yeah, they're like a dandelion clock, but the more of a flower and have little tiny flowers on them. That's what this reminds me of more. Although looking at the picture, it does. Oh, no, no, it's definitely, if you look on that thumbnail on the uh, inventory sheet there, it does actually show, sorry, I was just looking at it myself there as well. <laughs> It does actually show, yeah, there are little teeny tiny flowers that all form together to make one of those like round flowers. Sorry, no idea what they're called. So we have a nice little thumbnail up here and we've got 17 different colours there. All uh, very nice and clear. Oops, she says. And it does have DMC codes on as well. Mm, that's interesting because they're all crystals okay uh, it's a nice clear drill field and there's no training circles on it 
and the background is like all different colours so we're going to be doing a lot of colour changing while we're doing this one but yeah that's very clear very nice let's give it a quick measure and see whether we come up true to size or not so we are 24 centimeters that way okay so we're a standard poured glue canvas uh, by 34 centimeters that way so yeah we're losing the three centimeters border on each side but i just thought the colors were real pastely and pretty on this and again it has blue butterflies which is the symbol for lupus i have a family member that has lupus so that's uh, another charity that i'm adding to my list <laughs> i just think if you can it's nice to help now then, how do I get into these? Where's the end? Where's the end? There it is, it's hiding. Okay, ooh. These are different. I've not had these before. Okay, very different. Right, goodness me, look at the size of that cake code. That's marvellous. That is absolutely marvellous. So that's your... 17 colours there. They've all got an LZ, so that must be like crystal. Not quite sure what the LZ will stand for. Um, although when I was aware, I used to use the initials LZ because there was loads of LHs. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I used to put LZ so everybody knew it was me that had left notes on things. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we've got the, how many bags we've got of each, we've got 24 of these, which I presume is going to be the main colour of the background and possibly this one as well. And then it tells you how many drills you've got. And it's in these baggies, which are my least favourites, but I have to say I've never had them in uh, crystals before, so that's unusual, but look how sparkly they are. There's no dust in them. So these are all little packs of 200. Oh, we've got an interloper there. Look, we've got a gold one just escaped into that packet. But we don't mind. If he wanted to join the silver party, he's quite welcome to do so. But yeah, they're lovely and sparkly. Nice and clear. So what have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so that's the ten packs. Ooh, so I wonder what the 24 pack's going to be then. Right. Oh, this looks like the 24 pack. Okay, this is 762. Yeah, so we've got 24 of these. Goodness me. As I say, they are my least favourite because they take more bagging up um, and faffing about with little packets. But uh, there are nice clear lettering on these as well. I think you've, um, I've said before when I've had these bags, I don't like them because the lettering starts coming off them or the numbers start coming off them, not letters adding this, the numbers. Um, and then I can't read them. But with them having the, uh, the silvery background, they seem to be showing up quite well. In fact, actually they look a bit holographic, don't they, the numbers on these? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, to be fair, they are my least favourite packaging. But they are all crystals, so yeah, very good. Let's see, have we got the 24? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, I'm just going to tick these off as I'm going along looking at them. I might as well. It's something to remember to do as you uh, look at your... Uh, kits and your inventory sheets just tick off your numbers as you go along um mainly because if you're not doing your kit straight away you don't want to be coming like a year later to it um and then i'm into contact the company and say oh i had a color missing I always just do a quick little check and make sure you've got them all okay so this one is six, six four four and we've got three that's like a greeny color this is going to be really different um, I have actually got another kit that is um, that is a full crystal, but I've not done it yet. But this one's quite nice. I love the colours on this. Look at that lovely, fresh aqua blue. Wow, 3811. I'm not having any trouble reading these numbers on these packets. Probably because of the drills that are in them, I can see the contrast of the silver and the gold. 
312. Have we just got one of that one? 312, yes, we have. And 3817. They definitely look holographic, these numbers. I don't know whether, as I say, it's because they've got the sparkly in there. But uh, yeah, three of those. And 322. Gosh. My eyes must be good today because I really can't read these and I normally can't read these packets. 209, I would definitely never normally do this on camera. Mind you, there is only 17 colours as well, which makes a difference. So is that 153, two packs? Yes. So yeah, we've got the highlight of the like purpley plummy colour there. We've got a... 966. Six. Now, if you ever get stuck as to which way these are, whether it's a 996 or a 966, six, if you get like your long packets or one that you know um, which number it actually is. So these are, so that's a 3811. Then if you look at which way the ceiling is on it, then you know that that pack is going to be that way around. If you see there look so you know what that says there to what that says there so that is 996 and it obviously should always match up with what you've got on your labels as well on your inventory sheet okay in 964 we have three lovely green color one little packet of 3807 3807, yep. And one, two, three, four packets of 793. Okay. One, two, three, four, five packets of 794. We have two packets of that one's not very good to read. That one slipped a little bit down there. 3810. And then we have a 3768. That one is a little bit different to read. Is that 3768? Yeah, that's that one. So this one should be 3808. And it is. Okay, so we've ticked all the colours off as we've gone along on that one. So that was good. <laughs> Saves me a job later on. Right. Just bear with me while I get all these put back in here. And we'll put this back in there as well so we don't lose it. Okay. Put that down the they are lovely and sparkly and clear, all these gems, I must admit. And we'll put that in there with it as well so we don't lose the sticker. Okay. Right, and let's just have a look at the toolkit. Have a look at this tool. Let's take it out and have a look. Okay, so we have a white flat bottomed boat with a big square of red wax. We've got quite a few good seal bags there, probably mm, about between five and ten, I think. There, not a huge amount, but yeah, enough to maybe put a few drills in. You've got your pink pen with your single placer and your tweezers, the, the sort of cheaper ones. Um, actually they're quite solid those but they are still a little bit rough on the edges but you know if you need a pair of tweezers you've got a pair of tweezers and they're brilliant as I say for doing for, um, for doing photograph frames and picture frames getting the things off the back <laughs> that's what I mainly use mine for so that's canvas number one that one is 5 on the website there is a special offer on at the moment on cool deals website if you pop on there there's eight percent off um and there is a, a banner at the top so if you spend 99 pounds you get free postage to the uk so that's just something to check out obviously depending on when you watch the video depends on what offers are on so let's have a look at this one okay so this one is oh it's got my name on it again this is liz one it's a 30 by 30 and would you believe it's a be happy and as i say i'm doing my bedroom be themed so i will quite possibly be having that one on my wall i think i'm gonna need a bigger bedroom <laughs> yeah in your dreams was the cry 
I just thought this one was, uh, it just spoke to me. Let's see, you know I like my bees. And that does just look like the bee that I did the hanging ornament of. Okay, let's give it a bit of a flat out again. Looks like another good, oh, that's a sticky canvas. That's not wanting to let go of the plastic. So that's a good sign. I don't think my drills are going to come off this one. Uh, oh, I've got a little bit of dirt there on the canvas. Is that on the canvas or is that on the plastic? No, it's just a little bit on there, but I mean, they will be cut off anyway, so that's not a problem. Uh, it's 18 colours. And um, I've got a DMC code on. Oh gosh, this is. I wonder if they've put this the wrong way around. I wonder if they've put this plastic the wrong way around. Let me just try it the other way. Don't try this at home, folks. No, it's tougher the other way. Just there, even with these clear plastic covers, there are two different. There are two different sides. Open this out a little bit. So if you get the plastic on the wrong side of your drill field, of your picture, then you can find it will take your glue off. Um, because there is a right and a wrong side, which is strange because it just all looks like one great big roll of plastic uh, that it comes from. But there are actually a right and wrong side to these. So it may help to just put a sticker on one side so that if you are using the cover, and it accidentally comes off you make sure you put the right side back on your canvas but i think that's really pretty and um, it's a picture printed so we've got round edges uh, around our picture so the drills will then go over the top i think that lettering is going to come out really well whether these sunflowers will or not we i don't know we'll have to see because obviously it is quite a smallish picture we've got a lot of white background there um, all one letter so it's going to take quite a bit of doing that white background and it's 3865 so it's cream which is good because I prefer um, when there is like a white background or an all blank background that it's not the uh, bright white the 5200 because that can just be too much too sort of clinically white for me I do like a little bit of an off white but look at the B that's really pretty really like that so I say a nice clear drill field. I can't see that we're going to have any problems with that. Maybe a little bit on uh, the darker colour here um, with my eyesight. But I think uh, I'll be okay with my magnifying glass and my light and everything that I use. That won't be a problem for me. Um, if you didn't know, <laughs> I do mention it a lot. I have had a couple of eye operations. So... You know, I do suffer a little bit with my sight, but, uh, you know, I've got ways and means and it doesn't stop me diamond painting. So that's your key code there. All uh, numbers and capital letters. So that's brilliant. And one is one down to eight is eight, which is even better. Uh, my pet hate on canvases is when you get a number six is number seven and number nine is number one. My brain can't cope with that. I need the numbers to match up what they are. <laughs> And then a lovely little uh, thumbnail there as well. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Oh, these are in my least favourite, the little packets, never mind. Uh, we've got the same toolkit there with the tweezers. So these have decided to open up on tra in transit and just have a little bit of a sing, I think. That's a ridged boat, which usually it's a Mosfer boat. Uh, and it says Mosfer on it that has the ridges on the bottom. And they're usually a little bit bigger. But that is the same size as that one. So I think uh, this is a, a different brand, but you've got your ridges on the bottom. It it doesn't really make any difference. Dep if you're using one of those sticky mats, these come off the sticky mats easier. These tend to stick a little bit more because it's more surface area sticking to your mat. Okay, let's have a look at the drills. We've got uh, a table of contents, an inventory sheet. Okay, that's very consistent these I must admit and again a lovely big size wow very impressed with this and you've got your diagram there showing you how to diamond paint and I'm not going to check this one off don't worry we've got 27 bags of 3865 and it's telling us we've got 5246 drills or well, that's how many we need 
so that'll be rounded up to the nearest 200 probably um, the least that you ever tend to get is 200 when they're in these little bags so even though we only need 11 of 815 we'll have a look as we go through but I think we will find we've got a 200 bag for that one so that's how you gain extra drills when they put them in these bags I know it is easier for companies to use these bags because if you look on YouTube something you can find videos of the factories where they actually pack uh, some of these and like the machines just spill them all out into little 200 packs and then they have them all in boxes and they like grab a, an end from the box she says <laughs> and they just go along like this counting them to put them into the packets fascinating to watch wonderful now these have slipped a little bit the numbers as the, and they are starting to wear off a little bit so these aren't as good as the gold ones that we've just looked at but uh, I'll just have to be careful but okay I mean it is what it is the canvases seem to be a reasonable quality um, you don't get everything with the every kit you get but as I say these are my least favourite of the drills but I suppose if you're making a lot or if you're buying in uh, bulk drills from other places and then you're bagging them up yourself this is probably the easiest way to do it uh, to do it fast anyway uh, and I've got a brown colour there that will this is like a leopard print, isn't it, on there? Oh, no, it's a honeycomb, isn't it? Leopard print. What am I thinking of? Yeah, this is like the honeycombs, the little um, shapes. Hexagons, pentagons, pen ah, but anyway, whatever they are. <laughs> what was that colour we were looking for? 815. So that's that 3864 there. We'll keep an eye out for... And that's... 3828. Eight. So we've got a mixture of gold and black lettering in these. Yeah, 3828. Eight. We only need 79 of those, but we have got 200. And 332. Oh, is that 380? I can't read these as well because it must be the silver on the back of the others that helped me. 3825. That must be 3828. Eight. That's 3820. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's an O at the end. So uh, I know that you only need 119 of those. 162, a nice bluey colour. A little tiny bit of green. You see that one's starting to come off as well. That's all that worries me about when you get these packets. Um, that if the numbers come off. But I suppose sometimes by process of elimination you can work them out. That's 400. We only need 100 of those, but we've got a 200 bag. Uh, 3047, 3032, so we have a real mixture, a real mixture of run lots on these, 453, I might as well have ticked these off, had my 938, but never mind, I will do it later when I'm off camera, when I label up, uh, what were we looking for again, do you know my memory at the moment is just horrendous, I have so much to think about, 815, I think uh, something comes into my brain and something drops out the other side, <laughs> There you are, look, 815. We only need 11 of those, but they have sent us a pack of 200. So, Oh, and this is square as well. I've just realised this is a square. So I've got a 30 by 30 square. All right. Oh, that's good then. Uh, and that one's 798. Yeah, as I say, when I order from a new company, I do like to get a mixture so that I can see what the rounds and the squares are like. And um, these look pretty okay but we will have to do it to make sure how they fit together uh, I think there might be a little knobbly bit on one of those but there are plenty of spares so you can pick out the better ones if you do get an odd misshapen one but they don't look too bad but until you actually get doing your painting you don't know how well they're going to come out and that's I think 976 <laughs> half on there and half on there just as they've printed onto the packets it's just not quite lined up okay so let's pop those away so we've had a, a crystal drill and a square pop that in there as well so let's have a look at the next one Okay, uh, right, this is different from what I actually chose, but that's fine. Um, 
you know, they can't always send you what, uh, they quite often will send you what they have in stock. Um, you know, they are, you do get like a little budget and they ask you if you'd like to choose some uh, canvases or some items that you'd like. I did actually choose uh, a, like a special drill project, but obviously they didn't have that one in stock. So that's fine. Um, so we've got this one instead which is a 30 by 30 and that's a colourful tiger which I don't like tigers so maybe they have been watching my YouTube channel and have seen that I like tigers wow <laughs> it's got a very pink nose and blue eyes oh and it's a, a crystal one again okay all right okay so this is going to be different to do and with it being this size I will possibly make this into a greetings card because it is that little bit smaller let's just uh, take these Ooh, this is really stiff as well must be the whatever they use on the 30 by 30s is these have got a really strong glue oh, it's got a cover sheet that doesn't want to give up the canvas let's just pull this to the side okay Give it a bit of a flatten. Oh, I've made the right pig's ear of that was. There you are. Just flatten it out that little bit. Wow, that's going to be quite striking. It's got a hot pink nose. <laughs> oh dear, I wonder what he's been doing. Right, and this one has 32 colours. Goodness me. Again, they are all DMC cuts, so it will be interesting to see. With the other crystals that I've got, I can possibly start putting my crystals into DMC numbers. Oh, getting on with my storage. Yay! Like that idea. But look at that. It's got green eyes. Wow. Be interesting to see how this comes out in crystals with it being a smaller one and see what we get. Oh, quite looking forward to doing this one. So again, we've got the same toolkit and these tweezers have decided to uh, open up and have a chat while they were in the, uh, while they were in the bag. Now then, this one's got uh, a ridged bottom, but a ridged, a ridged, <laughs> this one has a ridged bottom as well, but it doesn't say a moss fur on it. So, okay, but yeah, that's fine. I mean, they are useful, these little trays, you know, for tipping back into your pots. Or even, well, no, you wouldn't be able to tip back into these little bags. It is one thing that you will have to kit up when you're using these. I can't imagine that anybody actually works from these bags and puts drills back into them. But let me know if you do. Maybe somebody does. I'd be interested to know if anybody does. Because, uh, yeah, it's not something I would be able to do. But let me know. Actually, we didn't measure the bead, did we? But I think we'll find that these are both the same size. And they're going to be about 24 by 34. Uh, 24 by 24, goodness me. Yeah, so we're 24 that way. By 24 that way, which is 9.5 inches by 9.5 inches. So let's double check this one. And yep, yeah, we're 24 that way, 9.5 inches. By 24 that way, 9.5 inches. So yeah fit lovely into one of the Ikea frames, they do a frame that is 24 centimetres by 24 centimetres if you're not wanting to put a board around at all on your painting or you can get a 30 by 30 and put a board around, you could paint this, put washi tape on it or whatever or you could, mount, I think this would actually look quite good mounted onto a nice deep black, a really good black black <laughs> yes Liz, um, card and then put possibly into either a black frame. Yeah, I think it would have to be a black frame. And that would just really make then the middle stand out, pop out. Let's have a look at this one. So I've got into these a lot quicker. Ooh, look at those colours. Look at that hot pink. We have hot pink, yay! They're very, very sparkly, these drills, I have to say. There's definitely no dust in these. Me and my dusty drills. So this one is a round crystal 
and I said that to two colours and they have got the LZ at the beginning so I am going to de kit these into this DMC number order and then see if I can match any of the markers up with it that's going to be a labour of love but it's one way of doing it and I have at least 32 different colours to start off with so ooh, maybe more storage might be in order <laughs> There is going to be a lot of colour changes on this because the most we have is eight bags of 939. Oh my goodness me. And there's a lot of one bags there. Look at how many one bags there are. Yeah, this is definitely going to have to be a kitting up and lots of swapping and changing on the drills. Goodness me. Wow. That'd be fun to do. A little bit of a challenge. Okay, let's have a look at these drill colours. I will check it all off later on. But, uh, wow, well, lots of purples. That's like a plummy purple there. And a bit deeper purple, but sparkle on these is lovely. Really like this. So I've seen the crystal kits. Quite a few places do crystal kits. Um, and I have got one to do, but uh, I've not done it yet. I was going to do it in February. I'm not going to mention the event. Um, oh, and that one's got uh, not quite so many in it. So maybe on the uh, crystals, they don't give you quite so many in each bag rather than being 200. Unless that one's just uh, escaped a little bit. But yeah, so that's another plummy purpley colour. And then a bit of a lighter purple there. That's, oh, that's a gorgeous colours. Uh, deeper again like a royal purple and that's a very bluey purple they all look pretty similar until you put them next to one another and then you say oh no they're a definite different colour and that's like a pinky purple look how that one just stands out and shines that's amazing do like that one okay and then let's have a look at the blues so we've got this oh three different blues here are the different ones let me have a look nine seven nine seven or oh, seven nine eight and eight twenty so yeah they're all different colors and that's a very very deep purple almost black purple that one so I'll pop that one in there and are there four one three that's like a very deep gray and i can't read the number oh that's 310 i think yeah that's 310 so some of these have got black numbers on them as well that's another purple 3835 we've got an extra lot of plastic on that one <laughs> and another purple color and then our pink pale pink and another pale pink and these are your 939s uh, they're all but black, but they're not black, but they're practically black, shall we say. <laughs> okay, and that's 444, which is a darkish grey. And another aqua blue there. And that's like a greeny one. That's a, look at all the different shading in this. Goodness me, that's the green. I think that'll probably be for the, the eyes. And another aqua. You don't realise how similar a lot of these colours are. And looking at this now, I'm thinking I've probably, as I've been de-kitting um, some of my crystals, I've definitely put dif uh, different colour numbers in with the same ones. That's a very pale one, and that's like a bit deeper one in the purple. And that's like mm, sort of a browny purple, actually. It's a little bit of a gold colour there. And that's a grey colour. Can you see what I'm leaving till last? And that's a bluey grey. <laughs> and then we have a lovely sparkly silver. And a hot pink. What a little bag of hot pink, which is, let me look, let me look. Uh, 3805, which is V, which is going to be the nose. Yay, it's got a hot pink nose. <laughs> Oh, that's going to look stunning. Love it, love it, love it. Let's put this 
in here. Wow. It's quite nice getting one you've not chosen. Okay, yeah, that's going to look really good. I've got ideas of uh, what I'm going to do with it and who I'm going to give it to, but then I keep looking at that pink nose and thinking I might just have to keep it myself. <laughs> Right, on to the big one. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. Right, so we've had two crystals uh, and we've had a square, so I think this one will be possibly around. Um, I just thought that was that little bit different. I've got a lot of moon pictures and I just like the fact that this was a new moon. And it's supposed to be lucky, the new moon. And this is a 40 by 70. Wow. This is a big guy. Well, big for me anyway. I know some of you do massive paintings. But I just put my pen out the way. And I better just move those as well. Because I'm going to need the desk space for this one. And the tool kits. Okay. So let's have a look at this. Wow, look at the colours. It's like an autumn evening, this one. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got the same toolkit with the tweezers, the pen. Uh, this has got a flat bottomed boat, a big square of wax, and a few little grip seal bags. And again, all in the little packets. And an inventory sheet. Okay, that's a little bit bigger picture there of the moon. I do like that. I do like that very, very much. But I just thought the colours on this would be stunning. And it's that little bit bigger. And I do like the longer ones. If I'm going to go bigger on paintings, I think oh, this is definitely tough to pull back. This glue is amazing. <laughs> it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely poured glue. Okay, and this is around. So I've got the larger one. I chickened out and I've got the larger one in the round. Yeah, it is round. <laughs> I'm just double checking. Let's just do the edges for now. And it just makes it all air flat that little bit. Oh, this thing's coming off a bit easier. flattens it out that little bit so you're not really going to be able to see this very well unless I have got it uh, this way on so sorry you, you may have to tilt your head to be able to see the whole thing <laughs> but look at that I just love the moon we've got a bit of a red sky up here oh that actually could be a tree this could be an this is like one tree here with the leaves coming across the night sky and it's a very black deep night sky and then this could be a tree that we've just got framed uh, in this corner here just to give a little bit more colour. Mm, nice. But yeah, it's supposed to be looking um, a full moon laying on his back. Yeah, but 40 by 70. So let's give this a measure. So we are... It's a 64 centimetres that way, which is 25 inches by just, well, roughly 34 inches, which is about 13 and a quarter, 34 centimetres, which is a 13 and a quarter inches. So, again, no no guide circles so that's good and it looks a pretty clear drill field to me we have 38 colors so we do have symbols on this because obviously there's only so many letters and numbers you can use and then you have to start going on to symbols otherwise um, you're duplicating i suppose you could use smaller letters but it's a little bit smaller the key code on this but it's uh, yeah one to eight is number one to number eight which is brilliant and I say then we've got some symbols, nothing looking out of the or oops, just get a bit of glare off that. Nothing looking out of the ordinary. 
on the key code there, a little thumbnail at the top and again my name, I don't like having my name on the canvas and oh gosh this is, oh no it's not, I was thinking this was all colour blocking but it's not, look we've got quite a bit of uh, confetti in between that as well quite a bit of colour blocking but uh, yeah there's different letters and things in there but that looks pretty good to me so let's have a look at these drills so it's unfortunate that they do come in these little baggies but okay we work with it if you like the picture you do uh, work with what you've got wow these colours are amazing oh my goodness me are they all three tens oh no they're not no they're not so again i don't like the inventory sheet i like the fact that it's just so big you can practically see those numbers and letters from space we've got our dmc codes as well what's the most we've got 48 bags of 310 wow claire would really like this she likes 310s <laughs> we've got six bags of 666 and 17 bags of 902 and 11 bags of 3371 so they're like oh no 17 of 902 did I say that already I did didn't I oh. so yeah they're your big hitters but uh, 9422 three tens on this wow okay so that's mostly your background I think doing this I would do it during the daytime um, because again my eyesight I do need daylight even with my daylight bulb on my magnifying glass I do find that if I do a darker colour I'm better off doing it in daylight so there is some natural light as well but you just work around these things don't you you just uh, do what you can so yeah so they're the 337 ones look at all these three tens oh my goodness me look at all these three tens and um, yeah i know some people have worked on canvases with a lot more than this but this is probably the most i've had on a canvas <laughs> don't judge me <laughs> i like tend to like smaller canvases because i like to get finished and uh, get them either gifted or put up on the wall or whatever i'm doing with them um but yeah i just thought i'm gonna give it a go i'm gonna get a bigger one and uh, see what we've got because I've got somewhere that I think this one will go so that's a lovely burgundy colour of 902 look at these reds look at that beautiful red there and then we've got the 666s there and then we've got 606 and then a 321 they're all autumnal colours which if you've uh, watched me for a while uh, you will know that autumn is my favourite time of year so that's why I love the autumnal colours. Okay, we've got a burgundy there, another ready brownie burgundy. Okay, oops, and there's another few reds there, 900. This one's trying to escape, it's alive! Okay, and then we've got some pinks. These must be maybe the moon or the highlights on the red. So you wouldn't think looking at this, I mean there's some darker pinks there, but you wouldn't really think that there's paler pinks in this. It always uh, amazes me that uh, what colours are actually in a painting and you think, where would that go? Why have you got that colour? And then when you actually do the painting, it sort of just disappears and blends and you think, I can't remember where that colour was now. So that's a deep burgundy, that one. And we've got our beautiful oranges. Look at these colours. All your oranges and brownie oranges and peaches. All to get your shading. Just gives you a real depth. If you've got that shading in a picture, you end up with a real depth and it starts looking really 3D when you've got it on the wall. Okay. And oops, that one's stretched a little bit. Look, that one's a blue. And that's a grey got a plummy colour there, another pink, a couple of like off yellows, palish yellows and a stony colour. So these are all the smaller packets with the little highlights in. A, a very deep blue there is that, what's that one? Is that 9, 939 that one. 
3073. Well, again, a mixture of black and gold on the um, bags. So I seem to be able to read the gold better as long as it's printed properly. But uh, the black, mind you, I suppose you can tip it out and look at the packet once you've tipped the drills out. So that is those. That's a big lot of those little drills in those packets, those little packets. So let's just fold this up and put it back in its bag. One in there. I wonder if the people that kit these up and put those bags into the uh, wrapping so neatly ever watch these videos and think, oh, it took me ages to put those in there all neatly and have just tipped them all out. <laughs> So, well, I think we've got a really good haul here. So we've got our lovely moon canvas there. So we've got our moon canvas in round. We've got our bee canvas, be happy, in squares. And then we've got two beautiful crystal paintings to do. So these are going to be quite fun to do. I do like the fact that they've got my name on. That does uh, make me smile. Well, they seem pretty good, these. Nice quality. Quite a softish canvas. Quite pliable. So, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Jack at Cool Deals, for sending these uh, to me to review. Um, I will do some kitting ups and uh, some working on them. And then the post review once they are all done and let you know my final thoughts on them but so far so good okay well if you've enjoyed looking at these with me a thumbs up is always much appreciated and if you'd like to come back and see what i get up to next and see these finished then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it you'll be notified when my next videos come out so thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now